Hello everyone, this is Subhash. Welcome to Social Studies. In today's video, we are going to learn a new topic that is Climate of India. So let's start. Before going to the lesson, we have to recall the last episode, what we have discussed. Okay, so in the last episode, we discussed about agriculture. Why? It has been decreasing year to year. And there were many reasons I told you and then organized and unorganized sector we discussed we discussed already okay so in organized sector we found 8% of the people working the people are working 8% of the people working in organized sector and in organized we found 92% of the people so here in organized even though there is a 80% but contribution is 50% in GDP growth in organized. In unorganized, there is a 92%, 92% of the people still they're working in an unorganized sector, but contribution is only 50% in GDP growth. Okay, so here the government will have to make it improve unorganized sector that means the government will have to make it improve or will have to make it stronger to organize sector and Un sorry unorganized sector okay so now let's move on to the climate of india okay this is the fourth chapter okay so we have to know first what is weather and what is climate okay so weather means here the state of atmospheric conditions or an area at a particular time is called weather and the climate the average atmospheric conditions or in a large area over a large area and a long period of time is called climate long period means nearly 30 years okay so what's the main difference weather and climate so weather can change day to day one day it can be sunny or windy or cloudy and next day it may rain that means the weather can change quickly within a few hours a few days understand for example at this time now weather is a nice and sunny okay weather is nice and very nice and sunny but next day tomorrow it may change it may rain that means the weather can change very quickly within hours within days but here climate cannot change within hours and within days that means it takes long time understand climate cannot change but there is a variations year to year in climate there is a variations in year to year but our basic pattern means the same here the climate for example you may have noticed every year generally the rainy season comes early june understand the rainy season every year comes early june but sometimes it may late for week or two weeks but it doesn't matter but the basic pattern remains the same so it is the climate climate cannot change but weather can change very quickly and then Climographs. What shows this graph means the climograph shows us the minimum and the maximum rainfall and temperature. That means here we can find out which month receives low rainfall and high rainfall, and which month receives temperature, high temperature and low temperature through climographs. That means we can find out temperature and rainfall minimum and maximum through climographs okay is it clear i hope it is clear okay so here 
and then we have to discuss about elements what are the elements of climate and weather the elements are temperature and humidity and wind pressure and also precipitation and atmosphere so these are the elements of climate and the weather and also we have to know about climatic controls what are the climatic controls of weather and climate so here latitude land and water relationship and also relief and the upper air circulation so these are all the climatic controls so we have to discuss one by one okay so first let's move on to latitude so here latitude means parallel or grid lines that means here we can see number of we can see the number of latitudes here latitudes and longitudes on the globe here so these are imaginary lines latitudes or longitudes or imaginary imaginary lines they are not real just imaginary lines okay so we have to find out temperature through latitudes that means the latitudes can be used to determine the temperature for example how much temperature is in russia and how much temperature is in china and in india so we can find out the temperature through latitudes so here zero degree latitude is the longest latitude on the earth and there are completely one this is the northern hemisphere and this is the southern hemisphere so here if we move away from the equator for example if we move away from the equator the automatically the temperature will decrease if you move high altitudes that means if you move away from the equator to the poles the automatically the temperature will decrease so here the temperature we can see the highest temperature in this region so this is this region is called tropical zone because this zone is a little bit close to the sun this region so that's why this region receives heavy heat from the sunlight most of the heat from the sunlight so this region is called tropical zone and here this region is called temperate zone that means this region receives low heat from the sunlight because here this region little bit longer to the sun this region little bit closer but this region little bit longer to the sun so that's why this region receives just low heat from the sun low temperature from the sun and also here the sun rays sun rays hit more directly on the equatorial zone that means tropical zone the hit the sun rays hit more directly that means the sun rays fall straightly so that's why this region will be warm always and here the sun rays fall slantly on the temperate zone slantly means just like curved just like curved so when the sun rays travel long distance automatically the heat will decrease understand when the sun rays travel a long distance long distance automatically immediately that automatically the rays that means the heat will decrease so that's why this region receives low heat from the sun so that's why we can see the highest temperature in the tropical zone and we can see the low temperature or cold temperature we can see on the temperate zone or cold zone okay and land and water relationship that means we are discussing climatic controls these climatic controls affect the atmosphere affect the climate okay so here then now land and water relationship for example land observes the heat 
land absorbs and loses heat very quickly than ocean than water bodies and ocean or water bodies absorbs and loses heat very slowly than the earth understand so that's why if you go to the seashore if you go to the seashore you can feel very cool weather because the water bodies or sea absorbs the heat very slowly but land absorbs the heat very quickly so that's why in daytime we can feel very warm weather on the land and at the seashore we can feel the cool weather in daytime understand so that's why in daytime the cool breeze that means the cool winds blows towards the land and the warm winds blows toward the seashore because the land absorbs heat very quickly so that's why the warm air the warm winds blows to the seashore but here sea or water body absorbs the heat very slowly so that's why the cool weather so the cool winds or cool breeze blows towards the land okay so it is one of the reason and for example here we take an example chennai and delhi so here the chen delhi is very far from the equator far away that means very far to the equator but chennai is very close to the equator so here the chennai has a coastal area chennai has a coastal area but delhi it doesn't have any coastal area so here in the coastal area we can observe we can see the moderate temperature that means there is no high temperature there is no low temperature so here completely moderate temperature we can say in tamil nadu in chennai because it has a coastal area okay and delhi it doesn't have any coastal area it doesn't have any water bodies around it so that's why here the temperature in summer is very high temperature in the winter it is the very low temperature we can see the low temperature because it is very far away to the equator this is the inland city delhi means inland interior that means it is far away to the equator it is far away to the sea coastal area so that's why we can see the highest temperature in summer lowest coldest temperature in the winter in delhi so it is depends on the latitudes okay so here and next relief relief means height or elevation that means relief means between difference the highest highest and lowest points of the elevation that means height so here the altitude increase the automatically temperature will decrease understand that means if you go up and up then temperature will decrease temperature will drop understand because already told you the earth absorbs the heat very quickly and then reflect into the atmosphere heat nature is the surya kantini vipritanga swikarinchi then immediately adi reflect chestundi atmosphere ante vatavaranam loki aa vedini reflect chestundi that means the heat reflects into the atmosphere so that's why we can feel very warm on the earth on the land so that's why if you go up then immediately the temperature will drop or will decrease already i told you altitude means height relief means height or elevation okay so here the india has a number of hill stations number of hill stations like uti kodaikanal nainital mussoori ranaket so all these hill stations are in height ante ettulo unnai ivanni from the mean sea level samudra mattaniki chaala ettulo unnai the hill stations all of the hill stations are in height because so that's why the all these hill stations have the cool weather because of height understand so you can feel very cool weather at hill station because the hill stations are at high 
ఫ్రమ్ ద మెయిన్ సీ లెవెల్ అంటే భూమి నుంచి చాలా ఎత్తులో ఉంటాయి కాబట్టి వాతావరణం కూల్గా ఉంటుంది ఇన్ ద ప్లెయిన్స్ వీ కెన్ ఫీల్ వెరీ వామ్ ఇట్స్ మీన్స్ మైదానాలు అంటే మనం వే ఆర్ ఎన్ వే ఆర్ లివింగ్ దట్ మీన్స్ హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ మోస్ట్లీ లివింగ్ ఆన్ ప్లెయిన్స్ అంటే మైదానాల్లో మనం జీవిస్తూ ఉన్నాం సో దట్స్ వై వీ కెన్ ఫీల్ వెరీ వామ్ వీ కెన్ ఫీల్ కూల్ వెదర్ at hill station because of height that means all the hill stations are at heights ante chaala ettulo untai kabatti manam chaala challadi vatavaranam akkada manam experience chestam because of height so here the nainital in madras in tamil nadu we can see kodaikanal and ooty or in tamil nadu and mussoori and ranikhet and nainital all these at uttarakhand and simla is in himachal pradesh okay and then we move to upper air circulation that means the winds blows some level of from the mean sea level upper air currents known as jet streams so these jet streams winds towards the west so especially these jet streams blows towards the west so like this towards the west to the equatorial low pressure belt equatorial low pressure belt to the west so that's why these winds called trade winds trade winds means in german word track that means these winds blows steadily same direction steadily means there is no ups and down and the same direction means there is no turnings that means the jet streams these winds blows steadily and the same direction that means no turnings and no ups and downs so that's why these winds are called jet streams jet stream means trade winds trade winds already told you in general word track okay so due to the jet streams the neighboring area will be cool and it may rain also ante ee jet stream valla akada unde chuttu pakka prantalaku vatavaranam atmosphere neighboring atmosphere will be cool ante chaala challaga ayipothundi sometimes it may rains due to the jet streams so these winds blow at the level of 12000 meters that means 12 kilometers in the summer the winds blows 110 kilometers per hour in the winter 180 kilometers per hour that means they blows very fast so that's why the winds known as jet streams so here the jet streams develop at 25 degrees in northern latitude these winds or these jet streams develops at 25 degrees in northern latitude okay so due to these jet streams the neighboring places the neighboring atmosphere will be cool and it may rain also ante akkada varshalu pade avakasham undi chuttupakka vatavaranam kuda challaga avutundi because of these winds jet stream winds known as trade winds vyapara pavanalu anu kuda deenni manam cheppochu okay so we'll stop here and this topic will be continued in the next video until then bye